guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get super real about sex. And this is part two in my very special Last Longer series. This series is by extremely popular request. One of the most common requests I get from you guys is how can I last longer in bed and be a better lover? So if you haven't already watched part one, do go back and watch that now. I'll pop a link to it up there, I think, or there, <laughs> one of those places and go and check that out and then come back and watch this video. But today I'm going to be talking about six super simple hacks that you can use starting today to delay ejaculation and make yourself go longer in the sack. Now, if you're someone who usually ejaculates a lot sooner than you would like, one of the best things you can do to deal with it is if you're not already, then start using condoms when you're having sex with your partner. More specifically, go and get some thicker condoms. There are condoms on the market that you can buy that help to reduce sensitivity. And by reducing the sensitivity, it's going to lessen your chances of coming to climax so quickly. So do invest in some condoms. Some guys who suffer from premature ejaculation even like to do what is called double bagging, which is where you put on more than one condom in order to help dull the sensitivity. In dulling the sensitivity, you are going to be able to relax a lot more into the moment and worry less about coming too early. Masturbating a couple of hours before sex is a great way to take the edge off whether or not you suffer from premature ejaculation this is a really good technique in order to make sure that you're going to be able to go longer in bed and it's something that I've personally done myself and it's something that I know Akai my boyfriend does as well and it really works for us and I know a lot of people who find this very effective as well you choke the chicken before any big date don't you Tell me you spanked the monkey before any big date. Oh my God, he doesn't flog the dolphin before a big date. No. Are you crazy? It's all really to do with the timing. If you're masturbating in the morning and having sex in the evening, you could still climax quite quickly. What you wanna be doing is masturbating in the two hour window before you have sex, because that essentially is going to allow less time for a buildup. And that means it's going to, in general, probably take you a little bit longer to get to climax when you're having sex. So if you usually have sex of an evening, try to get in a little sneaky wank session a couple of hours beforehand, maybe when you're having your evening shower, just do it in the shower and then you can relax a little bit more when you get down and dirty in the sack. And on the topic of masturbation, I can't talk about masturbation and delaying ejaculation without talking about the start stop technique. This is one of the most effective tried and tested techniques for helping to alleviate the symptoms of premature ejaculation and getting you to be able to hold off climaxing. And it basically is a form of cognitive behavioral training whereby you're reprogramming your brain. And because it is using a tested psychological technique, it really does work. The only problem is it does take a lot of time. Basically, it means that when you masturbate, you want to practice masturbating till you get close to climaxing. And then when you feel you're getting close to orgasming, you want to pull your hand away from your penis. It's basically training your body and your brain to stop when you're about to orgasm. And the best thing to do is to repeat that a few times a week every week. It is going to take a few months to see results, but you should definitely start seeing results if you are being diligent with it. Now, if you don't want to wait a few months, our Last Longer series sponsor, Prolong, has something for you, and it is 
the Prolong device. Now, I have shown this device on my channel before and every time I do, it goes crazy. You guys absolutely love this, which is why I am more than happy to bring it back. I have personally tried this, well not personally, but I've had Kai try it and he's had really good reviews of it. It actually makes men in clinical trials last up to eight times longer. Now, what the hell is it? Well, it's a little device that you hold on your penis while you're practicing the start-stop technique. And it gets much faster results because it uses a very sophisticated, very special vibration technology so that it is getting vibrations in and around your penis to create extra stimulation so that when you pull it away, it's going to have a much more dramatic effect as opposed to just doing it normally with your hands. It also comes with a bottle of lube to make the process of using it super smooth and comfortable. And the device is fully TGA and FDA cleared. So it's something that you can actually trust. Best of all, there's no side effects. The problem with a lot of the treatments out there for premature ejaculation is they numb the penis and in doing so they create some horrible side effects and those side effects can affect you and your partner if you're using a numbing gel or something that can actually be transferred to your partner during sex which is why a device like this is really safe because there's not any drug or numbing involved you're, you're really just working with your brain and the great thing is is that prolong comes with a fully holistic program they have all the education and all of the science around premature ejaculation, why it happens and how to deal with it, not just behaviorally, but psychologically. It's all on their website and you get exclusive access to uh, material all about premature ejaculation when you get the Prolong device. So I do have a special code for you today, of course. Uh, if you go down and hit the link in the description below and use the code Nadia20, you can get 20% off when you buy the Prolong. If you do suffer from premature ejaculation, it is important to consider the positions that you're having sex in. Ultimately, you want to be thinking about having sex in positions where you or your partner are able to pull away quickly when you can feel yourself getting closer to climax in order to allow yourself to hold off. And one of the best positions that you can have sex in if you are dealing with PE is to have sex with your partner on top and then communicate openly with your partner. Maybe even come up with a keyword, make it something super silly and neutral like pineapple and say that word every time when you can feel yourself getting close to orgasm. Just don't wait until you're at the point where you're actually about to ejaculate. Say it when you can feel it building up. Even if it's 30 seconds into having sex, that's okay. Just communicate. Communication is the way to better sex and we so often don't do it because we think that it's going to be embarrassing. But here's the thing, your female partner is going to really appreciate and find it very attractive that you're actually doing things to hold off ejaculating in order to secure her pleasure. And the good thing about this is it is a form of cognitive behavioral therapy because every time you repeat that process of saying that word, pineapple or whatever your word is and having your partner quickly pull away, you're retraining your body and your brain to hold off orgasm and repeat it enough and you're going to find that you can start holding off just by saying the word and not having to have your partner actually pull away. Perhaps one of the best ways to avoid premature ejaculation and something that your partner is going to massively benefit from and love you all the more for is simply delaying penetration. See, the modern idea of sex is really quite obs obsessively focused around 
penetrating. It's focused around penis in vagina. And while that can be a pleasurable part of sex, it leaves out so much. Now, you may not know this, but it actually takes anywhere between 20 to 45 minutes for a woman's vaginal canal to be fully warmed up in order to allow her to experience pleasurable sensations. That means that if you're not having at least 25 minutes of foreplay, your female partner is probably not having a good time anyway when you're having penetrative sex. So stop penetration from happening so soon and go back to the basics. Spend time kissing, fondling one another's bodies, having oral sex, having a strip tease, doing role play, watching porn. These are all great ways to really get your partner into the mood, to really reconnect physically and emotionally. And in the process, you're going to delay the process of ejaculation. Kegel exercises are a type of exercise that focuses on your PC muscle. And it is the muscle that is responsible for controlling urination and ejaculation. And the way you can locate it and have a go at starting to train it to become stronger is by the next time that you are urinating, simply having a go at squeezing and stopping the flow of urine. Try to start doing that each and every time you have to use the restroom and you're going to start to get more in touch with that muscle and hopefully over time start strengthening it up. Now, it's definitely not a muscle that you can strengthen overnight. If you want to really tone a weak PC muscle, it can take months. So you have to be patient. And in the meantime, that is why I recommend using something that is so much faster and more effective like the Prolong device. Now, don't forget that you guys all have the discount code Nadia20 to get 20% off Prolong and the link is in the description down below. Go ahead and try these techniques and let me know which of them worked for you. And are there any other techniques that I've missed off this list that you personally find effective for holding off ejaculation. I would love to know. Also, guys, if you're new here and you don't want to miss part three in my three part last longer series, then do make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The last installment in the series will be out very soon. So watch this space. And that is all from me for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.